A craftsman prepares to carve. He starts by using a masonry compass and a liquid called Chinese ink to draw the mortar's inner and outer circumference. He can easily remove the ink if there are any errors. He roughs out the shape with a hammer and chisel. He then works with a grinder, which is equipped with an extremely hard diamond tip blade, making it possible to cut through solid stone. Once he's defined the outside edge, he begins to work the inner bowl, carving out the perimeter before cutting a grid. He turns again to his hammers and chisels to remove material from the inside of the mortar. With a grinder, he works away at all of the surfaces, smoothing them to a consistent finish. A mortar isn't much good without a pestle. Once again, working with the confident swiftness of an expert, the artisan uses his grinder to hone a chunk of granite down to the shape of a well-balanced pestle. Wide and blunt on one end, and narrow enough to easily grasp on the other. The stone is perfectly calibrated to do its job. In the days before power tools, it would have taken a craftsman a full day to carve a mortar and pestle. But a carved mortar and pestle isn't necessarily a finished one. Here, a painter adds the final touches. Using a small brush and special varnish, he paints a lotus flower design on the lip of the mortar. He leaves the bowl itself untouched so that no food products will mix with the varnish when crushed. He then varnishes the exterior of the mortar. The varnishing process is purely decorative. Hard stone like granite needs no protective coating to help it endure. After all, some granite has been around for millions of years. It takes just 15 to 20 minutes for the varnish to dry. And with that, the mortar is completely finished. The lotus flower design isn't the only one available. This facility produces a wide range of mortars and pestles. These mortars and pestles may be attractive, but their appearance is secondary to their function. There are few tools in a kitchen more durable or more useful than a good mortar and pestle.